Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we'll learn about anonymous functions in Julia. So we discuss a map and then lambda. So anonymous functions, as the name goes, anonymous are functions that are not bound to a particular name. So they are, they are defined without a name. So for example, let's say you have a function like this, an input function like one, well, right? Let's first discuss the map. So the map, the, the map function is usually used to map as the name goes, used to apply a set of functions to every element in the collection so let's say we have round which is an input function once you round this number 3.5 to the nearest number once you pass 4.0 so this part you want to we have a set of arrays this is 4.0 so we have a set of arrays like this in my array right and my array consists of numbers like 3.5 5.6 uh, and then something like 7.8 and then 10.5 7 right want to round all the these values inside this my array so we can there are several ways you can do it but the longest way is to look through all of them and then apply the function to it so for add in my array right then you print let us then you print like then round and so we are going to look through it and apply the function to generate every element. So this is one of the ways you can do it, which is quite good, but it is not the best way. So that has applied the function to generate every one of them, each and every of the values. But with the map function, you can just apply that function around to it away. So it goes with the map, and then the function, as the syntax, and the collections or your arrays. So the same thing so let's try it and see with the map which we map right and then our function is round and then our collection is my array my array right so it's going to perfectly run it for so exactly like the first one that we had here so that is the concept about the map so you need to apply a set of functions to every item in the collection so let's say you have another thing like you have another function Right, a normal function like let's say function. Let me break it up a little. So, uh, sorry for this function f of x, right? And this function is going to take, it's going to be print line. Press this with something 2 to the power s, or let's say s to the power 2 uh, plus, sorry, plus 5. <laughs> Plus five, right? We want to apply this function to our array, so we can just use the same thing with the map and then the function. And then let's say our array that we have 2.4 and then 5.6. And let's say the last one is going to be 3.0. So we can apply this function to each and every one of them. So that's the same the concept about map is you only to apply a set of functions to a collection. So let's try with the lambda. So the lambda, so with the lambda, it's like it's perfectly work for us. So with the lambda, it's also with the same thing. In Julia, we do the lambda with the stabby operator. This is also called the stabby operator. Stabby, eh? yeah, stabby operator. So that's the sentence. So that's a, what we used to do, the lambda operation, the lambda function, which is anonymous function. So to, to, to do that, let's say we have the normal traditional function of so g, x, this the normal traditional way of writing a function in our mathematical books is say right s plus two and something like this let's make it some simple like this it's our normal traditional way of creating a function or the lambda you can also create something like that by doing s then you stab it over the lambda <laughs> lambda <laughs> then s plus two is the same thing so we can use this lambda function inside our map so let's create something like map and then x right with our stable operator and s plus 2 and we're going to apply it to my array or so let's create a simple array so that we use it so we have 2 4 6 6 and then 8 so it's perfectly going to work for us so this is going to be the function and then this is going to be our collection so that's the concept about the lambda function or lambda anonymous function in Julia. So you can use it to do a lot of things. 
so that's it so in case you have several functions right and then you don't want to use a map there is also another we can do which is called the deep block sentence which i'll go through very fast deep block sentence right so that one that one goes with this you're going to put everything in between the two and then the end so it's going, it's going to be like map right and then your values say my your values three four right and then we're going to store it inside the value we call x we do and then x and then we're going to put our function here so whatever function that's going to do all your several functions you want to do and let's put it here so let's go let's create uh, a polynomial like 2x to the power 2 plus 65x right so then end so it's going to perfectly work for us see that that's perfectly work so that's the two blocks in this so the two block is your it's very usually you only want to have you have several lines of functions you want to apply you want to map it over another function another collection so thank you for watching if you have any comments and let's put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit and thank you always for staying with me stay blessed